So I've got a bit of a two for one deal here, a bit of a bog off here. You buy one, you get one free. And this is all about Capcom. So Capcom have announced a successor to the RE engine and it's in the works, codenamed REX engine. Ooh, creative, right? And there's a 23 minute video up on the Capcom YouTube with the Capcom R&D goes through in explicit details for the future. Definitely check that one out, listeners. Now the RE engine, it's the next generation. And Capcom, they really like putting numbers into words and their tagline, that X, is it a 10? Who knows? Maybe that's a little hint to the future when they hope to be using this new engine. But here we go with the second lot of Capcom news. They've got an unannounced major title launching in March 2024. That's right, a report from VG247 has revealed that Capcom is planning to release a major title next year. But what could it be? We know there's plans for a Phoenix Wright uh, trilogy coming out in January, don't we? In 2024, and we've just had Street Fighter VI. So what are they up to? Could it be Mega Man? Could it be Dead Rising? Monster Hunter? They're all big IPs. We hopefully would see a return with those ones. But for me personally, if I got the choice, let's revisit Lost Planet. Now I'm going to throw it over to you guys. Give me your hopes and dreams for this new unannounced title coming in March 2024. Spence, hit me first. What are you saying with Capcom? Where do you want to go? Okay, so what I reckon it is... I think they forgot that they announced Pragmata and now they're announcing it again. But <laughs> what I actually think it is and what I, in my heart, want it to be is a Marvel game. Oh, That's what I'd like. It's oh. the fighting game Renaissance. If they bring a new Marvel and it's not a Marvel Infinite dog shit, then that's, oh, I'd be quite keen. And that would be, it's a different type of fire. So that's a game you can kind of play along with Street Fighter 6 as well. Oh my God, dude, that would be so hype. My, my mind hadn't even gone to that place when I tell you what, what I'm thinking. But Jesus Christ, I mean, how good would that be? And Marvel, I think they've learned now, you know, they, they've done a couple of games which have been, I wouldn't even say duds, but they just didn't hit the mark, right, in terms of, uh, the Avengers game and Guardians of the Galaxy. Obviously, we, me and Phil, we fucking adore Guardians of the Galaxy, but it didn't sell well, right? It just didn't sell well. And I think now they've realized that shoehorning stuff in, like the last Marvel Infinite that they did, they were mandated by Marvel that they could only use X amount of characters. They could only use the, the Infinity Saga characters. And it fucked them over. You know, like no X-Men in the Marvel game is just wild. The series started with Street Fighter versus X-Men. Right, like it, it's insane that they decided that they weren't going to do that. I think now they've kind of learnt those lessons, and a new Marvel game would slap tits. You'd get everyone in; it would look sexy as hell. And Capcom, at the moment, with their fighting games, just aren't missing. Street Fighter Six, easily the best fighter of the year. I don't think anyone would contend differently with that. They've learnt the lessons, man. This is the time. Marvel would be fucking sick, Spence. I'm so down for that. Great, great show. And what are you throwing into the mix, Davey? So for me, I'm thinking it's Monster Hunter. I really think it is. It's the time for it. You know, the last one was a couple of years ago. Sure, they've had like Switch ones and they've had like little baby ones. But it's time for the next Monster Hunter world. And I know you're rolling your eyes, Spence. You think, <laughs> fucking Monster Hunter. But it sells shitloads. We are definitely in the minority here for Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter World was their biggest release they've ever had at Capcom. It's about time they do a next-gen version of that and just get it out there. And just print that bank. That's what I'm thinking it is. It's not something I ideally want. You know, personally, if it was up to me, time to bring back Dino Crisis, baby. Time to get that going. Or, if not that, Mega Man has just been fucking forgotten about for so long. And sure, he gets like, Little games come out, it gets little things. Time to just really go in with a big Mega Man release. Just really big, like high budget one. You don't have to really keep on trying to retrofit them to look like the older games from the NES and the snares and stuff. Just really put the budget in and make a really good 
Mega Man game. That's what I'd love. But if I was a betting man, I'd put it on Monsanto. You guys have got it all wrong. As I said, it's going to be Lost Planet. And we're going to get Lost Planet or I think this is the big IP that they're talking about. I mean, we've had three major games from the Lost Planet series, and I loved every single one of them. It's just a brilliant time playing co-op in the earlier games, swinging around on those ropes, a little bit of third-person shooter action. I think this is what PlayStation is screaming out for at the moment, because we have a serious lack of this genre at the moment, outside, I suppose, the bigger names. And Lost Planet could fill that gap so they've seen an area there and they've thought, do you know what? Let's bring that loved IP back. And guys, if you haven't heard of it, definitely Google it because it's a class game. Absolutely love Lost Planet. <laughs> Not many people have heard of it, have they really? I remember you absolutely sweating that. I remember we went to a conference years ago and I think it was around the time that Lost Planet 3 was out and you queued for ages to go play that. And I played it as well and I thought, oh, this was all right. I remember you coming out of it and being like, fuck, it's so good. So you just don't understand it yet, Dave. You're so good. That was sick. And it was a co-op, wasn't it? You could just play it together. And for some reason, we never played it together. I don't know why we never did that. Probably just too much vodka and too much uh, the game that can't be mentioned five, probably. But hell, they did a Lost Planet th like four or whatever it is. Hey, I'll check it out. I'll give it a go with you, mate. I'll explore those icy tundras with you. Well, thank you very much, mate. And we haven't had one since 2013, so I think it's about time now, isn't it, Capcom? About time to bring back Lost Planet. 